Dr. Omkar Tanskal is joining us to make sense of these numbers. Omkar, your first reading of the estimates, margin at 24.5% and the profit coming at 11390 crores. Yeah, uh, I do not have the uh, Q1 Q number, so if, if I get it, so we can uh, turn to growth numbers in terms of uh, revenue, so that we can, I just have it. Uh. Yeah, so Omkar, I'll tell you the top line growth has come in at 1.6% and the margin is flat quarter on quarter. Yeah, uh, it, is, it is more on, uh, on the expected side, uh, we were expecting around the same range and uh, the DCS have reported strong set of, uh, I mean, the same uh, set of numbers in, in that, uh, in, in line with the expectations. The margins are still big, but I am not uh, worried about the margins though, as it is going to be a uh, streamline going ahead, we got supply side, constraint that uh, we can see of easy line. Uh, the more important from my side is the outlook going ahead, the vertical commentary that is coming from uh, the management and uh, the deals that they have gone in the quarters. But what's your expectation, Omka, with respect to the deal pipeline? Will you be disappointed if the number is lower than, let's say, an $8 billion mark? What are you banking in there? Yeah, I'm expecting around uh, 6 to $8 uh, billion, dollars, the, uh, the band between 6 to $8 billion dollars, uh, of the deals that they have won. Uh, but uh, major major concern is that uh, how many of the clients is seen uh, or are they 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 are seen the engagement uh, for the quarter and the going ahead. Uh, there might be a concern that uh, there might be a delay in, in terms of uh, you know decision making and they can delay the uh, IT expenditure automation uh, for for the next couple of quarters going ahead. So that may be the key issue that one should uh, trigger upon. I mean, one should see upon. Sure. Let's welcome on board Sandeep as well. Uh, Sandeep Agarwal to make sense of what he's, uh, his take is on the numbers. Sandeep, your call as far as the earnings are concerned because it looks like 1.6% growth is lower than expected on a sequential basis. The margin hasn't improved and so far we are waiting by for the commentary because there's no press release at the moment. Yes, I uh, I think there is, there is a slight disappointment because remember this quarter there was a benefit also of the currency front. So I think, you know, uh, it is little below what was expected and also on the margin I'm surprised that, you know, with attrition numbers pulling off why there has been a dip in margin. So obviously we need to wait a little more to see the other data points. Uh, number two things, one on the on the outlook front and secondly on the margin front, what if, is there anything which is like, you know, unrelated or temporary in nature? That is what we are awaiting. Uh, let's see, I don't, we don't have much details right now. But prima facie, it looks like, like little miss on both fronts. Yeah, looks like a bit of a miss coming in on all fronts as far as the numbers is concerned. I'm just waiting by to get more details and I think I have them at the moment. Uh, let me read out some more details coming in. Uh, as far as the constant currency growth in FI23 as a whole is concerned, it's coming at 13.7% and the full year margin profile has been at 24.1%. Uh, the TCE for FI23 stands at $34.1 billion and if you look at the constant currency growth coming in in this quarter, it is at around 10.7% on a year-on-year -year basis. Let me just run you through some more details coming in. Uh, as far as um, the global employee headcount is concerned, at the end of the year, it's 6 lakh and, uh, and 14,000, and the net additions in the quarter gone by is 821. Remember, in Q3, there was a decline when it comes to headcount to the tune of 2,200 employees. So now, this time around, at least that has been an addition, albeit a tepid number of 821 uh, as well. The attrition has come in at 20.1%, so there's a drop of almost 120 basis points, a substantial drop as far as attrition is concern uh, and the number is coming at 20.1%. Uh, I'm waiting back for more details as far as what TCV is looking like because the order book uh, of the quarter gone by was around 10 billion so that's uh, uh, quite a stellar number coming in. The street was expecting that it is going to be around 8 billion dollar. It's actually coming at 10 billion and geography wise as well on a year on year basis UK is up 17%, North America is up 10% and even continental Europe has shown a growth of around 8%. Sector wise speaking, BFSI is up 9% on a year on year basis. So there is a bit of slowdown when it comes to BFSI, but not by a whole lot. And uh, the TCB for the full year stands at around $34.1 billion. Let me quickly get in Omkar on this. Omkar, uh, 
Our order book continues to be very strong at $10 billion worth of order inflows in the quarter gone by. And in terms of the net additions, it's coming at 821 of headcount and attrition at 20.1. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I am not uh, worried about you know the, the supply side issues now. Uh, but as, as we were there in the uh, COVID levels or uh, pre-COVID levels, because we can see a flattening up of the attrition level and you know flattening up of the uh, supply side concern uh, uh, in, in the next couple of quarters. So this has already been guided for uh, their uh, dream margins of 26 to 28 percent of the band uh, going ahead. But I'm more skeptical about, you know, the outlook going ahead. Uh, we can also see from the hiring as well. Uh, the hiring has been planting up, uh, which may indicate the uh, slowdown of the, you know, uh, the on-site or on the ongoing projects that they are going on. So, uh, I, I believe that is the one thing one should look upon. And uh, uh, yeah, the key monitorables from the management committee that one should be focusing on you know the outlook uh, going up, uh, going ahead, uh, especially on the vertical communities like BFSI, retail, and the high tech, because the verticals uh, uh, may be uh, 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 having uh, some some issues, and maybe one can face the delay in the uh, in the decision making process or automation process. The management has already been indicated the shift from of the client from you know the automation to the cost optimization part. Which is uh, largely into the, uh, continuing the uh, ongoing projects and uh, focusing more on the cost side uh, rather than being uh, optimized their their functions or the sale or the different automation part. So that meant uh, once uh, one should see uh, for in, in case of the demand scenario that one should uh, see upon. Sandeep, your take about the outlook because while the deal pipeline number or rather deal TCV number in the quarter gone by was rather strong at 10 billion, it's the headcount addition that continues to be tepid and a bit disappointing on the margin front because uh, the revenue is just mildly lower than what Street was penciling in but the margin miss is, is a lot more. Yeah, so this is one of the most confusing results because if you see the attrition numbers have come down which should have implied a slightly better margins but in fact, margins have disappointed a little bit. At the same time, I would not read too much on the outlook just because of net addition number being low because the net addition number, you will try to keep it low when you know attrition starts getting into control because uh, you hire very aggressively when attrition is high and once you perceive that, you know, next three, four quarters, if attrition is going to further go down, then you have to bring down the pace of recruitment. So I wouldn't read too much and directly connect it with the outlook. At the same time, you know, this $10 billion while is a very exciting number on the order book, but you have to remember that, you know, there are every year we have seen there is one quarter where there is an outlier uh, growth in the order book because of one or two very large deals coming and changing the number substantially. So it would be, you know, too early to connect it to a secular trend of very high TCB. So I would put it this way that, you know, there is something missing on the growth front and something missing on the margin front, while, you know, attrition coming under control is a positive news. news. So I believe that, you know, uh, next year will be probably a higher, better margin year uh, rather than a better growth year. That is what it looks like from the current numbers. But you have to always remember that, you know, TCS is a first half driven company. So next two quarters growth could be slightly better. So that is the way I will I will summarize the whole results. Sure, and in a few minutes from here on, we'll hear the management as well as to what the outlook is of for FY24 because uh, it's not about the quarter gone by, it's about the impending quarter that the suite is waiting for, whether, you know, there is going to be an improvement, whether FY24 is going to be in a year where the first half of the year is going to be slow, but there is going to be a pickup in the second half is what the suite is waiting out for. I don't have the official constant currency number yet, uh, but the expectation is what we infer is that it's coming lower than one percentage and that compares with suite expectation of around 1% and remember the constant currency growth over the last many quarters has been between 2 to 4% in the year gone by the constant currency growth was as high as around 4.4% that's come down materially to sub 1% level and that is telling you the kind of slowdown that the sector is facing and this is as of now when the BSSI sector contagion really hasn't panned out completely so we're watching out for all of that and the management commentary in the next few minutes will be fairly important but uh, for now it's a miss coming in from TCS this time around the revenue is lower than expectation yes there is a bit of a 
positive surprise when it comes to the deal uh, wins. Uh, but we'll have to see whether it uh, is sustainable or not because going forward, there is a bit of a disappointment on the headcount edition front as well. Um, and as far as the BFSI sector is concerned, it seems like it's slowing a tad bit. We'll do one thing. We'll slip into a very short break if we can. Uh, in the meantime, I think the management will be getting ready in the press conference. And when we come back, we'll track the press conference as well, slipping into a very short break.